Hello everyone, this is Prerna and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve a coding problem called board games. I will explain the problem first and then we'll go through the solution step by step. So, let's get started. We import DQ from the collection module. A DQ is used to store the position during the breadth first search, that is PFS. This function returns the four possible directions based on the move rule, that is X, Y. These directions are forward, right, that rotates the 90 degree clockwise to get Y minus X, left, rotated 90 degree counterclockwise to get minus y and comma x back that rotates the 180 degree to get minus x and minus y. This is the helper function that checks if a given cell is within the grid and has a value of 0. Here we define the main BFS function. It takes the grid source and destination position and move rule that is y com x comma y as input. Here we initialize m and n as the grid dimensions. The dq starts with the source cell and an initial step count of zero. A visited set keeps the track of cells we have already visited. The, position, the possible moves are stored in the moves variable which is generated using the getMoves function. Here we begin the BFS loop. We use popLeft function to get the current cell, row, comma, column and the step count. If we have reached the destination, we return the number of steps taken. For each possible move, we calculate the new position that is new row comma new column. And if the new position is valid and hasn't been visited, we add it to the query and with the increment step count. If there is no valid path, we return minus 1. Here we take the grid dimensions M and N as input. Next, we create the grid with M rows and N columns filled with either zeros or 1s. The source and destination coordinates are read as tuples. Lastly, we input the move rule X, Y. We print the result of BFS function which remains the minimum number of moves. And here it flocks. In this video we covered the board games and went through the solution step by step. I hope you find it useful. Make sure to practice coding problems like this and as they are can rely sharpen your problem solving skills. If you have any questions drop them in the comment box below. I will be happy to help you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Bye-bye.